Hey guys, it's Mr. B here. Uh, this is a homework help video uh, for this uh, Unit 2 independent practice that we worked on in class. A couple of uh, quick notes I want to make that will help you finish this if you took it home. Some of you finished it in class, uh, but anyway, here it is. Uh, the copy that I made messed up, and so I had to hand write the B with a circle in it, so that's why that one looks that way. Uh, this question here, we had some students having trouble. They didn't understand what it meant by having the G inside of the absolute value bars. That's just a variable. And then what this is saying is, what if you plug in 18 for G? So instead of G, what if it's 18? Uh, so what it's saying is, what if it's 0 instead of G? What if it's negative 18 instead of G? What if it's 81 instead of G? Which one of those would make this true? So what I did was I plugged in each one. Instead of G, I did 18, 0 negative 18 and 81 and then I'm looking for which one of these would be true once I have those numbers plugged in so I hope that helps clear that up uh, number three people are getting tripped up over the word um, observation it says which best represents Jeremiah's observation a better way to say that maybe is which best represents what Jeremiah noticed okay so some people were getting tripped over uh, the word observation all right lots of questions today about gridding numbers correctly i want to remind you these deal with place value so you got to know where your decimal point is to the left of the decimal is your ones place then your tens then your hundreds then your thousands to the right of the decimal that's your tenths and your hundredths okay so you got to remember if like a number like negative four it's the same thing as 4.0 so if you thought the answer was negative four then it would be bubble a negative, put your four here, and then that would be like point zero. You don't have to put the point zero. You could just do negative four if you thought the answer was negative four. Same thing here. Negative two is just like negative two point zero. It's just the same. It's the same with positive numbers. Two, two point zero, three, three point zero, four, four point zero, etc. Then you go and you put it in the place value boxes correctly, and then if you want a negative answer, bubble negative and write a negative up here. If you want a positive answer, bubble positive and put a positive sign right there. Um, just a lot of confusion on that. I, I, and You've had this in fifth grade, but we've added this positive and negative part to it, so that part's different. Um, a question on number five um, about this mystery number. They gave you some clues about the mystery number. The first clue is that the numbers are opposites. You know what opposites mean. We've talked about that a lot this week. The second clue is... Um, a little more difficult. It says the distance between the numbers on the number line is 20. It's not talking about the distance between the number and zero. It's talking about the distance between those numbers. Okay, The distance between negative 5 and 5. The distance between negative 15 and 15 and so on. So here's an example for you. Imagine one of these answer choices says 6 and negative 6. Okay, The distance between negative 6 and 6 is obviously it's there's six jumps to get to zero and there's six more to get to positive six so the distance between the two numbers is a total of 12. you're looking for a distance between the two numbers that's a total of 20. so that's just a way to help you out uh, tonight on your homework uh, i don't think you need any help for uh, number six or number one uh, so hopefully you can watch this pause it when you need to and that can help you complete this it is for a grade and it is due when you walk into the room tomorrow have a great night